The Samsung Galaxy A56 seems poised to make a big impact in the mid-range market, especially with its performance improvements and new features. The move to the Exynos 1580 chip is intriguing, especially with the noticeable jump in benchmark scores compared to earlier tests. The single-core score of 1,353 and multi-core score of 3,847 are promising for a mid-range device suggesting it will offer solid performance for everyday tasks and even more demanding applications. Running on Android 15 out of the box is another big plus for the Galaxy of 56, as this gives users access to the latest software features and optimizations right from the start. Coupled with One UI 7.0, it seems like Samsung is gearing up to provide a smooth and modern user experience. The 8GB of RAM should make multitasking a breeze, and the new three-cluster CPU design with cores clocked up to 2.91 GHz promises good performance, particularly in gaming and resource-heavy apps. If the GPU upgrade rumors hold true, this could make the Galaxy of 56 an appealing choice for users looking for a more affordable phone that doesn't compromise on performance. Overall, the Galaxy of 56 seems like a great blend of power, affordability, and modern software. What do you think about Samsung's focus on improving their mid-range lineup with devices like this? Would you consider upgrading to the Galaxy A56 based on these specs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Fan Edition definitely packs some impressive upgrades over the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition, making it a strong contender in the Fan Edition lineup. Here's a closer look at some key differences. Screen and design. The jump to a 6.7-inch dynamic AMOLED 2X display is a big deal for those who prefer more screen space for media consumption and multitasking. It's a noticeable upgrade over the 6.4-inch screen of the S23 Fan Edition. Performance and chip. The move to the Exynos 2000, 400E chip, and the addition of a 512GB storage option definitely give the S24 Fan Edition an edge in performance and capacity. This is especially important for power users who need more storage and processing power for demanding tasks like gaming or video editing. Battery. With a 4,700 mAh battery, the S24 Fan Edition provides a little more juice than the S23's 4,500 mAh, meaning longer usage time between charges, although the 25W charging speed remains the same. Software. The promise of seven major US updates is a game changer, especially for people who want long term software support. The S23 Fan Edition still holds up well, but with only four OS updates, it's a significant difference for future proofing. Camera While both phones share similar camera hardware, the introduction of the Pro Visual Engine in the S24 Fan Edition and the ability to shoot 8K video at 30 eps, make it stand out for photography and videography enthusiasts. The price difference between the two models may be small, but the enhanced display, performance, and extended software support of the S24 Fan Edition make it a worthwhile investment if you're looking for a phone that will stay current for years. Which one to choose? If you're after longer software support, a bigger screen, and better camera features, the S24 Fan Edition is clearly the better option. However, if you're more budget-conscious and don't need the latest upgrades, the S23 Fan Edition still offers great value. What do you prioritize, performance or price? Let me know in the comments.